Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen. I'm sure by now everyone's getting a little tired of fundamentalists arguing that morality proves God, even though sociologists disprove it time and time again. Empathy is proof of humanity and not godliness, but the fundies always like to say, morality proves God. God's laws is written in your heart. The reason why you don't do things is because God is influencing you. Meanwhile, time and time and time again, religious people who supposedly has God on their side commits the most worst atrocities <laughs> imaginable. Uh, the Catholic Church, who wants to trust their children with the priest? Now, I mean, who other than a fucking moron? Cardinal Law, Cardinal Pell. Uh, you don't need a crystal ball to predict the obvious. What's happening now, 20 years from now, will be another priest scandal. I look at uh, even recent time, uh, even now, uh, Benny Hinn got it raided by the IRS just last week. Religion is a Bugs Bunny parade of crazy people committing the worst crimes and then screaming, by Jesus' blood I'm forgiven. I still have morals. You can't hate me. Jesus forgave me, so. And meanwhile, real people to struggle from one dilemma after another. And in doing so, in the struggle, we grow as, as a person. That is evolution of the self and society as a whole. My own struggle, see, unlike the Bundys, I live by three words I don't know. Case in point, my previous video, I pointed out that I collect tickets for a second chance lottery in Arkansas. There's a chance for a cash prize and points for prizes. I was given 15 Ziploc bags full of tickets. I'm talking a hell of a lot of tickets and not just cheap ones twenty dollars ten dollars five dollars make up the most of it hundreds of tickets the guy who gave it to me as a christian is a really bad gambling issue my hobby here occasionally if you go through enough tickets you find a winning ticket well, for the first time since I started this years ago, I know who owned the, la the ticket before it came into my possession. I found a $10 winner. And the prize for the ticket wasn't $10. The, the big prize was 250000 See, more often than not, when I find a ticket, it is for the cover price. $10 ticket. Ten dollar prize because that makes the most they sell the most tickets like that. Sorry. Well, I went and found him, gave him the ten dollar ticket back. And no, I don't think I'm a great moral person for doing that. It's only ten dollars. He looked at me like I'm an alien. Like I had a third arm growing out of my forehead. He couldn't quite grasp why anybody would do that. I felt sorry for him. It's empathy. I really wished it was a bigger prize. This guy is struggling. Here's where I am moral. Here is a confession that proves my morality is on par with anyone. If that ticket 
was worth $250,000, I don't know what I would have done. And me saying that, I've proven to be more moral than the Bible. I've proven to be more honest than any fundy. If it was $250,000, I have no idea what I would have done. I like to think I would have given it back to him. I like to think anything, but I don't have a $250,000 ticket in my hand. There's no shortage of fundies that would say, I would, in the name of Jesus, do so because yada, 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 yada. And they're full of shit. <sighs> I'll end with this. This is a $20 ticket worth a million dollars if it's if it's a winning ticket. Hundreds of these. This is a $2 ticket with a $2 winner. I'll give it to him next time I see him. Who knows, if he made a mistake twice, he might have made it three times. And I can't wait to find out what the prize is if he did. We'll see, we'll see how good my morality is. Till next time, if you make ACS videos, feel free to advertise your channel down below. Goodbye.